Hello. <laughs> hey everybody welcome back to my channel this is abby with abby reviews this is going to be my review and recap for life's a drag season one episodes two and three again um i know what i fell off i'm trying to get it all together these episodes are like 25 minutes long a piece so i'm doing both of them at the same time so i can be caught up all right so let's jump into the foolishness i don't remember what happened in the first episode a lot of ba 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 ya 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 kikiri cat cat whatever let's 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 get into the foolishness shall we all right so we had a little what happened last episode and we saw plain jane having this whole rant about stepania i know i'm mispronouncing that baby's name how she shouldn't have won whatever the competition was that uh somebody else should have won from the first season don't ask me names i'm old and i don't remember now we then go to Corey king is putting on this performance at this bar he invited iris iris was of course late because apparently that's her mo um so they get to sit down and talking and um Corey is like um somebody needed a makeover or something and he and iris was like oh you must mean Gigi," which is Corey apparently best friend and Corey was like, are you shading my friend now? Okay. He's like, I didn't know we were on that type of time. He said, but just know, I'm, I'm not going to throw any shade back. But just know I see you and you're heard. Okay, you that girl we thought you were. Well, all right then. Well, all right then. So we gonna, we gonna, we gonna see. We gonna see uh a little station break this has nothing to do with the actual episode a four-year-old just came in here and had a whole conversation about somebody peeing in the bathroom and i confusion is me so if i have to be confused you too must be confused i still don't know what this baby is talking about still don't know say hello people hello people <laughs> people okay you going to the park yeah okay have fun Say bye, people. Bye, people. I am screaming. <laughs> I am in shambles. Do you hear me? So, it's Karen's birthday, and she's performing for the first time at this club called Legacy. It's a place I think she said she always wanted to perform at. She said she had some drinks. She got up there. She don't remember what happened. And next thing you know, she was coming off the stage. I didn't see anything. It looked like she did a good job. But that's not even. Let's let's fast forward. Let's fast forward, friends. Uh, Corey decides that his infinite wisdom. Well, Iris shows up. And they're not really seeing it for Iris. They're not really seeing it. They, li listen. Clearly, Iris can go to hell for them. So, I had a bit of like deja vu because I feel like I did this before. But okay, fine. So, Corey. Okay, so Iris is there. Iris and Gigi, clearly, they don't mesh well. But they got common sense and they know how to act in the situation. And they know what neither the situation at the end is not about either one of them. They did support Shakarin for her birthday. Act like you got some damn sense. So, Corey is grinding on gg glam his best friend and next thing you know they kissing and now one of the drag queens her face was my face when they was like what the why is this happening who who thought this was appropriate who thought this was appropriate then Corey and his confessionals it's like everybody doesn't make out with their best friends literally production put crickets behind no just me yes honey just you not making out with my no not even a little mm -mm. nope <laughs> baby that's just you that's just you i'm waiting for and then this child start talking about the baby's lips talk about he giving he puerto rican but he giving caucasian lip that's when I started to scream out loud. Cause why would you, <laughs> friend? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? All right, we gotta keep it going. 
Cause it's still 11 minutes left in this episode And we got to move on to episode 3 4 3 Yeah I'm so glad I'm putting these two damn episodes together Cause Jesus Christ the last 6 minutes of this Went completely off the rails How are y'all friends? How are y'all? Y'all read, was reading the piss out of each other at this table So Cor- Gigi is mad Okay so Corey performs Everybody, the the consistent seems to be everybody is drunk. They had a nightclub, so understandable. So Gigi is, is Corey said to Gigi before he got up to perform, before he got up to perform. Oh, there's something I need to tell you about Miss Iris. Woo 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 de woo. And Gigi was like, "What? Okay, okay." So Corey gets up there to perform. Whoop de woo, all of those good things she does. Split. There was holes in the tights, if regardless, whatever. So she gets done, and Gigi is now upset because she's like, "Okay, well, what is it that you had to tell me?" She says to Corey, and Corey is like, "I don't even remember at this point. I'm drunk. I don't know." She's trying to woo wham her way around the fact that she specifically said that Iris said something, and that you wanted to tell her about what Iris said about her. Before you got up there and talk about we go Kiki. Because Gigi's initial question was, did you tell her that you don't like her? What did happen? And she was like, oh, we'll Kiki when I get done. So. They finally get set around the table. And. So the producers are like, can y'all do a toast to Corey's performance? Cool. And so. Gigi immediately breaks the fourth wall and start talking to the people behind the camera and she goes this is my problem here's this is what my issue is my issue is that you are saying that um now you don't all of a sudden you don't remember what you were going to tell me and blah 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 and she was like it could have been anything and then Corey was like okay I do remember is that um we said that we were going to do a program and we you need help with your makeup and we we're going to do a makeover for you to help you because you're a bomb queen it's just that your face don't be stamped and you know you need some pointers you know ba 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 and she said it like both her and iris agreed with the fact that her makeup is not up to par and she was like well your drag is not up to par so you're at a club looking like you just left hot top well Corey said she looked like she was gonna uh, clock into a hot topic and then they start talking about well were you wearing jeans she was like yeah but i'm cute with these jeans and i have on heels you not so much and uh iris is talking about drag is is not wearing jeans and blase bloom and blue to blue and Steph was like, uh, okay. And she giggling off to the corner. And Gigi is like, bitch, you got on jeans too. So if jeans is not drag, it's not drag. For me, it's not drag. They talking about you too. And she was like, what? They was like, yeah, but her face is stamped. And she was like, oh, her face is stamped. And we look over at Stephanie, her face is painted for the back room. So I listen. They was like, she was like, mm, okay. And Gigi's like, mm, okay, I guess. And she was like, well, damn. I, and Steph was like, god damn, I thought I was cute today. I was, why y'all stray bullets? What happened? Hi, I'm just in the corner drinking. Mind of my damn business. Leave me out of y'all. Y'all firing off shots. And now, Corey is trying to get back in the good graces of Gigi by dissing iris even though he agreed with iris about Gigi needing a makeover with her makeup child and that and it stopped me argument talk about to be continued so we about to continue on into episode three to see the resolution of this foolishness because excuse me excuse me child well that ended <laughs> so uh, I can't remember the other baby's name. Stefania, maybe? I could be wrong. I know I'm old. I don't know. But the one baby was said to Iris, uh, oh no, because Gigi said, 
it's when you have your own show, then you can be that girl. Not when I'm booking you for my show. And so then it came up that Iris is not booked for blend because the person who books for blend said that Iris called her a racist for not booking her. And Iris was like, I never said that. I don't know what you're talking about. And Stefania it threw in a little dig and then Iris got upset and she was like, okay, that's it. Let's fuck this. I don't have to stay here. I don't have to take this. I'm going home. And she got up and then they started making fun of her clothes and talk about her shoes with Skechers when they was really Doc Martin. Like it was a lot of petty catty high school mean girl situations happening. And she got up and left and she was like, I set the whole thing up because I wanted Corey and Gigi to argue with each other. But then they after they argued with each other, they turned on you. So I don't. All right, child. Okay, we're going to see. Because <laughs> I don't know. That's how it ended. The argument about Gigi and Corey fighting is the best friend. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm. Because I, I have a thing about fidelity. Okay, so Shakirin and Plain Jane are having a recap of what happened at the club. And Shakirin is explaining it. And then Plain Jane is being very catty about Stefania? 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 And how he went on that Instagram rant when she won that um, competition and he felt like he shouldn't have. And he's like, I feel like we really need to talk to her. I really need to talk to her and make sure that we're good and I clear the air with her. Even though she done be in the scene because I'm always in the scene because I'm always booked. But she's never booked for things and I'm always at places where I've been paid to be. So we don't run in the same circles. Okay. All right, bitch. And then this ridiculous bitch said, has a whole conversation about her, him, him uh, being in a relationship with a married man. And then he found out that the man had a child. And apparently, him sleeping with him turned him on even more. So you have no sympathy for this woman and, and her child and her husband who is clearly lying to her about what the shit is and having sex with you are you okay with it and you giggling with it like it's cute and funny i don't like to make quick judgments about people and we're on episode three of this i don't like none of these people let me just, I maybe Shakarin. Shakarin, but Shakarin got a drinking problem. And that's another thing. Plain Jane said, baby, you need to get your drinking under control. You called me at 3 o'clock in the morning from the club. Talk about you was fucked up. And then, uh, then 30 seconds late, not even 30 seconds later, said, oh, well, we going to be at the club. You can't drink, but I need a little extra so that I can build up my courage to be able to do these splits and tricks and stuff. So I'm going to get me something to drink, but you can't. Can y'all go to the outer regions of hell? Cause what are, what, what, what kind of friend are you? Okay, child, these people is toxic with a capital T. I'm gonna watch the last of the, ep I won't be back until the rest of this episode is over. We'll be back. Cause right now I want to punch plain Jane in the face. Cause she's a bitch. She's a big old, she's a big old bitch. That's, that's all I got for her. She's just a big old bitch. So let me watch the rest of this episode. I'll be back. Okay, so we at Corey's drag race. And so he's like, he's nervous and excited and all those things. So he's like, I don't know what's going to happen with Gigi, if she's coming or not or what. But she shows up. She and Corey have a conversation. They apologize to each other. They get back on good terms. They good. Gigi says something to... Shakarin and Shakarin was like I've been there before you didn't say nothing crazy to me we good she's like but Stefania was my first time meeting her I feel like I was attacking her I want to apologize because I, I don't want her to have a bad impression of me bop, bop, bop. So, okay cool so Stefania comes in and Gigi immediately takes her aside and she was like she tries to start to have the conversation and she starts to apologize 
And Stefania says something flippant to the apology, which Gigi immediately took on as an attack. And then she was like, fuck it, I'm done with it. And walked off and talked about she's the worst person in the world. Well, actually, Gigi was trying to explain her side. She was like, I had been drinking. I hadn't eaten. So I was really just on one. And before she could get out, really, I apologize for how I treated you. Because you didn't deserve anything that I said to you. Uh, the baby mocked her. I didn't eat no day. <laughs> and so she was like, and she was like, bitch, you don't even do drag. See, she's like, now see, now I'm becoming defensive. And that's how she walked off. And that's how the episode ended with a to be continued. So we're going to see if these children can get it together or the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. This was Life is a Drag episodes three, two and three. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a kid and, uh, We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.